Hi, my name is Brian, and uh, I own a small little computer repair shop in uh, South Florida. And today we are going to clean the fans on a Dell XPS laptop. And uh, so let's dive right in. What are you going to need for tools? Uh, you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter magnetic tip screwdriver. Those are always handy. A couple of spudgers. These are black sticks. You can get these on eBay or Amazon. Some thermal paste, Spectra Cool. Um, there's a couple other ones out there that are really good. Uh, X15. Um, I don't know. Some of the big box stores sell this. Uh, brand isn't as important as replacing it. So if you have the option of going to a big box store and buying a cheap brand, just get that. Don't skip that step. Don't not replace that. Uh, a little dental tool uh, for cleaning out stuff, scraping things. Alcohol prep swabs, I get these at like uh, uh, corner drug stores, Walgreens, CVS, whatever. Can of uh, dust off to blow any dust out. And um, probably going to need somewhere to put our screws if there are any. And I use this little bin here uh, that I created when I do full dismantle of anything. Um, and it has different labels in there. I created a video that describes all my bins and my thinking behind the compartments. And uh, I'll link to it so you can see it. Okay, so let's dive right in. Uh, we're going to remove all sources of power. Uh, first thing you do is always remove all sources of power. And um, so that means pull the power plug and the battery out. And now we're going to remove this, this bottom panel here and this bottom panel. Uh, Dell is actually really forward thinking when they did this, when they made these laptops. Uh, because uh, they actually gave you an access panel so that you can clean the dust out yourself rather than having to go through the process of um, uh, dismantling the whole dang thing, you know, um, to get down to the fan. So that, that's not too hard. As you can see, these screws, they have a little um, a little washer that holds in, or lock washer, I don't know what they call that, but uh, that holds the screws in, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, worry about the screws falling out. The next step is we're going to go ahead and unplug the fan, because we're going to pull this whole apparatus out. So grab our spudgers here. We're going to pull straight up on this fan plug. easier to tug on the actual cable. Just be gentle when you do this. Don't yank real hard because you could pull those wires out of that plug end and that would be terrible. You wouldn't want that. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew all four of these CPU screws. This is holding the cooling system onto the CPU. We're going in an X pattern. Uh, so, uh, sorry about that. I got a phone call in the middle of that. Um, okay, so we're going to continue to pull these screws off of the CPU and just make sure they're not going to come completely out. Okay, we're just going to spin until they click and those are out. And then you got one more screw right here that you're going to pull and it'll start clicking when it, it's done. And then we're going to have to pry this just a little bit, okay? That's where these black sticks are handy. And that pops the seal between the thermal paste, which is rock hard on this, okay? And uh, and the CPU. This one is not too terribly dusty. But it does have some dust in it. And uh, whenever a machine gets brought into my shop, we, we do what's called a full service, which includes which includes this uh, cleaning here. So, alright. Now that we've got that off, we're going to go ahead and scrape off this thermal paste. Okay, I'm going to use this the blunt end of this spudger here to kind of peel it away, get the mass of it off. Okay. When, when, uh, when thermal paste gets really hard, it can't do its job. 
Okay, it needs to be in a semi-paste-like form. It's not supposed to be hard. Okay, it's supposed to be a paste or a compound. And I've had a lot of people ask me questions about that. And uh, so, if you ever encounter this, you know that you need to uh, replace it. Okay, so I'm just going to get the bulk of it off here. By scraping with this tool. And then we're going to get the rest of it up with our handy dandy swabs. Okay, and, and I've also had people ask me, okay, can I use vodka? Can I use. One person asked me if they could use lighter fluid to do this. Uh, no, don't do that. You want to use alcohol, and the reason why you want to use alcohol is because it cleans and it ev evaporates quite quickly. Okay, that's important. We're also going to clean the surface of the chip uh, here. And if there's any stubborn leftovers, just break it up with your spudger. Don't use metal. Never use metal. Anything when doing this type of stuff. All right. Just use plastics. We call these non-marring tools. Okay. They're not. They're not going to scratch or damage anything. They're just going to give way, uh, but be hard enough to make a difference to clean, okay? And we're going to take a little bit of compressed air, we're going to blow that off, dry that off, same with this, make sure it's clean, it is clean and it's dry, and then we're going to take the fan assembly, and we're going to blow this out, okay? So. Okay, so we got that fairly clean. Looks good to me. Uh, there was more dust in there than I thought there was. And we're also, while we're here, we might as well just blow this out. Pull that dust out of there. And... Yeah, we're good. See this little blue pad right here? This is the GPU cooling pad. Uh, you can leave that there as long as it's pretty pretty well intact. This one seems okay. If it's not well intact, you need to pull that off and add thermal paste to the GPU. Okay, But in this case, we don't need to do that. Alright, so next up, grab your thermal paste and we're going to apply a grain of rice to this CPU. Okay. So recreate a grain of rice on top of the CPU. That's that's all you need. Okay. Close this up. And now let's reassemble. I like to give it a little twist, a little push, just to kind of smooth out that, that cooling paste. We're going to screw these screws back down in an X pattern. So if I start here, I'm going to go to this next one over here. So I want to cross the chip. Now if you get confused as to which ones to screw down first, most chipsets, and this one included, are numbered. One, two, three, and four. So we're just going to go in that pattern. Two, three, and four. There's four. And this last one is our GPU. Let's seat that down. And don't ever forget to plug your fan back in. Alright. And let's just spray this off a little bit. pretty simple. The, the process is so much easier in these Dells that have this access panel. Now the one
one downside of this laptop is the slotted CD-ROM. And in this particular model, the CD-ROM is broken, so it's not an easy fix. We actually have to dismantle the whole computer down to get to that. We're not going to do that right now, though. We're going to just put this back together. Nice and quiet. I always like to put my ear up to it to make sure that fan is working right. And in some models, and in this, including this one, the fan doesn't kick on right away. It doesn't spin up. Doesn't do anything. It, it takes a minute for the uh, that to start to spin. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, she's spinning away. All right, very good. It looks like that uh, we've got uh, this one solved for today. So remember. Uh, you know, have a few things on hand, your alcohol swabs, the spudgers, the polysynthetic X15, SpectraCool, whatever. And uh, don't skip the thermal paste part. I think that's important. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And uh, if you're an aspiring computer technician or want to learn more about tech, uh, tech repair type stuff, uh, you know, it would be great if you subscribe to my feed. I do these all the time. Uh, try not to be repetitive, try to be quick, and show you exactly what you need to do. I've been doing this for 12 years, and I really enjoy it. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.